Hello, my name is Mario Mandala. I am a medical oncologist and I work at the Division of Medical Oncology, Department of Oncology and Hematology, Ospedale Uniti in Bergamo, Italy. Our paper, entitled Association of Socioeconomic Status with Breast Low Thickness, Disease Free and Overall Survival, will be published in the February issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings, Volume 86, Issue Number 2. Melanoma is an heterogeneous disease. Patients with thin melanoma, that is, less than one millimeter, have an excellent prognosis. On the other hand, patients with metastatic melanoma have a poor prognosis. Breast low thickness, ulceration, mitotic rate, regional lymph node involvement, presence of distal metastasis and site of distal metastasis, as well as LDH, have been all incorporated in the new classification. As for other malignancies, also for melanoma, earlier detection and diagnosis are important features. Among factors which may influence the earlier detection and diagnosis, socioeconomic factors and education have been consistently reported in prostate, colorectal, head and neck cancer by several authors. However, most of these results derive from retrospective studies or national cancer registries or academic centers. These databases are usually limited to age, gender, racial and ethnicity, but they lack important individual information regarding the socioeconomic status, the education, the family context and the outcome of patients, as well as breast low thickness, one of the most important prognostic factors. In absence of this individual information, several authors use area-based information by linking patients through country, zip code and census tract. In Ospedale Admit in Bergamo, we have been collecting all consecutive patients with melanoma in an electronic database prospect prospectively collected. All patients have been diagnosed, treated and followed up by a multidisciplinary team. Between November 1998 and July 2009, we included in our database, in our electronic database, 1,443 patients. For the purpose of our study, in accordance to previous report, we classified socioeconomic status into three levels. Low socioeconomic status, which includes manual employers and skilled and unskilled workers, including farmers, with primary educational level, five years. Middle socioeconomic status, which includes non-manual employers and clerks with middle educational level, eight to 12 years. And finally, high socioeconomic status, which includes professional, managers, executive with tertiary level of education. To evaluate the association of socioeconomic status with breast low thickness, disease-free and overall survival, we use the classical Cox regression analysis. But in addition, we use also the RECPAM analysis. These three growing techniques allowed us to assess interactions between covariates and to identify distinct and homogeneous 
subgroup of patients with similar outcome, that is, disease-free survival and overall survival. By using our prospective database with individual data, we were able to demonstrate that low socioeconomic status, gender, male, age, older patients are associated with breast load thickness, one of the most important prognostic factor in melanoma. Furthermore, and these are the take-home messages, melanoma-related death was seven times higher in patients with low socioeconomic status and living alone as compared to patients with high socioeconomic status. And the melanoma-related death was two times higher in patients with low socioeconomic status not living alone as compared to patients with high socioeconomic status. Our results have potential clinical implication for the design of future melanoma prevention campaigns in order to reduce the cancer disparities and to improve the prognosis of more socioeconomically disadvantaged melanoma patients. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.